A rabble of dishonest, woke celebrities came out in full force at the weekend to try to get Jeremy Clarkson cancelled for a satirical article of his that was published in the Sun newspaper where he humorously wrote of Meghan Markle, I hate her, not like I hate Nicola Sturgeon or Rose West, I hate her on a cellular level. A night I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day she's made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Now, I'm quite sure even my six-year-old reading that could understand that Clarkson is exaggerating for comic effect, and yet a vomit puddle of woke celebrities took to Twitter pretending not to. Leading the attack, two hack has been mainstream comedians, Jason Manford and John Bishop, whose comedy, even before their careers started to slide, could best be described as boring, safe, dull, bland, beige, fatuous and inane. Bishop histrionically screeched, I don't care who you are or who you work for, you simply cannot write things like this. Whereas Manford whimpered, if you can defend Clarkson in this, then please don't reply to me. Just unfollow and block and move on. Pretty ridiculous, pathetic stuff from two men who you would assume have some sort of sense of humour. I don't know what the collective noun is for a group of faux outraged woke BBC comedians engaged in pantomime social justice on Twitter, so let's just call it a noncery. A noncery of comedians attacked Clarkson on Twitter for an amusing article he wrote. The very same woke celebrities, ironically, that when Joe Brand made a joke about throwing acid in Nigel Farage's face, defended her to the hilt as if it was the most hilarious thing that they'd ever heard. Because of course, the truth is, these celebrities weren't outraged or offended by Clarkson's writing whatsoever. They were trying to rack up virtue signalling brownie points. They were reminding the world how very woke and progressive they are, just to make sure the steady flow of trashy BBC panel show and chat show appearances doesn't dry up. Clarkson's writing was entirely in keeping with the exaggerated, willfully obnoxious sort of thing he always writes. Last week, another of his articles was printed in the Sunday Times, this time on the subject of the current widespread industrial action, where he humorously wrote, We're told that what's coming in the next few days is nothing short of a full-on general strike. Millions of public service workers will walk out and refuse to come back until they get a pay rise of whatever the inflation figure is, plus some more, and that as a result, the nation will be paralysed and the streets will fill with corpses, which will be eaten by rats the size of wheelie bins. Now, of course, only an idiot would take that literally, just as only an idiot would take his article about Meghan Markle seriously. The people who attacked him, pretending he was making face value statements rather than off-colour jokes, are grossly dishonest, pretty loathsome human beings. In a world where truth is hard to find and where our cultural landscape is built on lies, you would hope you could at least rely on comedians to be the canary in the coal mine, to call out the emperor's new clothes. But neither Manford or Bishop are real comedians, are they? They both always come across like used car salesmen who somehow stumbled onto Saturday night television. Please do like and subscribe and support my comedy by following the links below this video.